lesson I'm visiting a 251 again in the key of G A minor 7 D7 and G major 7 and this lesson is all about how to solo using only the Dorian scale over that chord progression I'm using the Dorian scale that's re relative relative to the A minor 7 chord Dorian's the second mode Dorian means number two we're in the key of G Dorian the Dorian scale related to the key of G major is A Dorian. The notes in A Dorian are A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A. So out of that scale, out of this position, I'm soloing for you over the entire three chords. Again, it's real nice to know what notes make up an A minor 7 and a D7 and a G major 7 as you go about doing this because otherwise it could sound like you're just sort of playing through the scale and not really playing with the chords as they're changing. So you always want to try to highlight, end on, start on, accentuate the notes that make up the chord as the chord is happening and or approaching. And rarely you want to do it as it's leaving because when it's leaving, it's sort of gone, the ears go into the next thing automatically. But um, so given that, the notes in A minor 7 are A, C, E, and G. A, C, E, G, and A, and C. So there's a lot of them right there. There's going to be a lot of them for every chord in this. Uh, the D7 chord is an A, a C, a D, an F sharp, an A, a C, a D, an F sharp, an A, and a C. A lot of the notes in the scale again. Because the eight note scale has to contain all four notes of every chord. So your G major seven chord doesn't have an A in it, but it does have a B. It has a D, it has an F sharp, it has a G. So it has more of them. It has the B here, it has the D, the F sharp, the G, the B, that was a weird little lick, but anyway, so as the chords are happening, I'm trying to highlight those four notes per chord, and you end up with beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, over this 2-5-1 progression. A lot of great uh, musicians and players treat the 2-5 progression um, a lot of different ways, but two of the common ways are, one, a lot of people treat the 2-5 as just the 2 chord or solo over it like they're just soloing over the 2 chord. And other people tend to play over the 2-5 like it's just a 5 chord and sort of accentuate the five chord. Um, that's not exactly what I'm showing you here. I'm showing you how to sort of accentuate each chord as it occurs with just using this one scale. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you try it. I hope you have a great day and get to play a lot of guitar. Um, lastly, this scale is a great scale to practice doing double stops because you have a lot of, of parallel double stops that happen in the scale. So you have um, like, And then this isn't one, but this is, and 
this is. And by parallel, I mean you don't have to alter your fingering at all, it's just straight across. Pretty cool. So here goes the example using the scale again. Have a good one. Play a lot of guitar.